One recording studio. Welcome to another night over here at Sexy Sundays here at U-Style Magazine mm-hmm. Live Radio. I got Mr. Sexy himself, Pastor what, Q, what, what's that up? is guest co-hosting with me tonight. Say hello, sir. Hello, hello, hello. What's up? What's <laughs> up? Thank y'all for having me. I am Pastor Q. She far too kind, but thanks for having me. I definitely appreciate being here tonight. All right, all right. So first of all, I want to thank everybody for tuning in again tonight. I know y'all kind of like in a crunch because I know Dallas is playing tonight. I already got that. Right. Eight o'clock game. I know it. I know it. But if y'all stay with me for just a little bit, I got some fun coming up here tonight. Um, First of all, we did a play, y'all, Friday and Saturday. Game changer. That's what it was all about. That's right. And I had a ball. What did you think about the play? Man, it was a great play. It was a great turnout. The play had a great message. Um, you know, it definitely inspiring. Uh, shout out to Miss uh, Margaret P. Beans for just giving us the opportunity yes. to be a part of her yes. vision. Yes, um, it was definitely a great stage play. If you missed it, you missed one. But yeah, man, it definitely was great for sure. Yes, Good yes, thing. and I do. I want to say thank you also to Miss Margaret P. Bean for believing in me to be able to pull through. Miss Lisa, I had a ball. Um, shout out to the whole cast. You guys were phenomenal. That's what's um, <clears throat> Sorry, thank you for all of the advice that y'all were giving me as far as my stage presence. You guys were awesome. I had an amazing and amazing time, and it was such a great play. Um, shout out to everybody that came out to support. Um, shout out to the stage manager, Miss Glenn. Uh, Gwen, you had a hard job, honey, but you did it. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> yes. So thank you. So and, and and thanks to everybody. Thanks for all of the support. I'm sure Miss Margaret definitely appreciates it. Um, but we had a ball. Definitely what else did you time. have going on? I know you time. went to that little sorry Redskin game today. Oh man, went to the Redskin game and you know it was up and down, but they lost, of course. Heartbreaker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That they my team, so I'm used to them, you know. They the red they the Redskin fan is like just like keep going back to an ex that's no good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you have expectations, but you just know it's just not going to work. But you just keep putting expectations yeah. in it. So, you know, me and Redskins are broken up, man, at least to next week. So, you know. Oh, Lord. I'm actually single right now for team shopping. <laughs> Green Bay looking like that team for me, but, you know. Good grief. Uh, but anyway, better luck. Do you guys have a game win again next Sunday? We got a game Sunday, yeah, against, I think, the Rams. We out of town, but pff, who knows? Seems like we're going to be 0 2, man. Who knows? Well, better luck. Yeah, next, right. Next week. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. Hey, shout out to Bones. Hey, Bone Simmons, I got my buttons. Can y'all see my button? Let me show Bone y'all Simmons. my button. Yes. What's up, Bones? He did these awesome buttons for me. I love them. Miss Stacy Tyson got on one. Dwayne Davis got on one. That's and I got a whole bag, y'all, of buttons. So if y'all want your U Style Magazine buttons to show me some support, please reach out to me and I got your button for you. Bones, my cousin, you are the bomb. Thank you. I love you. Bones, I need some I am past the Q buttons ASAP. <laughs> oh, Hit me, Lord. inbox me. <laughs> So I get my own buttons. <laughs> Good grief. Whatever. <laughs> hey, but you guys, make sure that you guys tuning in to all of my social media um, networks, Facebook, Instagram, um, Twitter, U Style Magazine, everywhere. Mm. Um, also, make sure that you are subscribing to my YouTube channel, which is U Style Magazine. Also, right there is where you can catch all of my previously recorded broadcasts. You will love them. They're a lot of fun. Um, and I'm going to keep rocking out as much as I can. Hey, also, um, make sure that you guys are following Mitch Cradle as well because we were going we are going to start um, filming the new two TV series that he has coming to DC TV. Me and Miss Dana Dane, um, we're going to be doing true crime and justice stories, and up. also um, uh, redemption. So I am looking forward to that. We're going to start filming that. So you guys make sure that you are getting in tune with all of us so you can follow our progress. I'm really looking forward to all of that. That's what's up. So you yes, got a lot indeed. going on. That's what's up. I'm, I'm trying to stay busy. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Staying, bu- staying busy keeps the devil away. That's right. That's right. Yeah, you know, just staying busy. Keep it busy. I don't mind the devil playground. That's around. right. That's right. That's right. So I'm That's looking forward up, to man. that. I'm looking forward to that. So you guys, um, make sure that you stay with me. I got a lot of great shows coming up this month. Um, and I got a big surprise coming up at the end of the month. Some people know, but some don't. But I'll make that announcement in just a couple of weeks. So make sure that you guys are staying with me and find out what's going on with your girl. That's what's but up. Um, we're going to take a quick break. When we return, I got the dynamic duo coming back. Stacey Tyson, Dwayne Davis, Sex, Love, up. and Relationships Part 2. So we're going to take a quick break. Don't y'all go nowhere. We're going to be right back and see what's going on with this dating game. That's I'm still right. confused. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> you don't want to miss we'll be, it. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Peace. Peace. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. DC's number one recording studio.
Hey, hey, Sexy Sundays is back over here. You Style Magazine Live Radio. Listen, Vision in the building. And I got Stacey Tyson and Dwayne Davis, the dynamic duo. That's what's up. <laughs> we back, y'all, for part two of Sex, Love, and Relationships. So, first of all, what have y'all been doing since we last met in March? Who got married? I almost got married. <laughs> what? <laughs> Look, <laughs> you over there like, what? We, we all know Stacey be the closest one to get married. She about the closest yeah. one. She yeah. about the closest one. Because yeah. she, she look in love right now. I am she? love, baby. All, all, the, all over you. Facebook. I'm so loving you all, all, all over that. it. Yes. You saw that. Oh. I'm so loving it. Oh, it's her turn I saw that and I was like, what? It's, see what I'm saying? And you know people get surprised with that. You know, y'all, well, y'all know. Because I mean, well. Yeah, okay. yeah. And as I always say, it's my business. That's right. It's your when business. I'm ready to and give you it tell it when you want to tell exactly. it, right? That's I give right. it to you how I want to give it to you. That's right. You ain't going to force it on me. I love it. I love mm-hmm. it. Dwayne, what's going on with you? Um, I'm still in the pool. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because you know what? That's what we're going to talk about. We go, yeah. I want I want to talk about this pool party that took place about what was it last oh, month beginning of pool. I'm, I'm in the uh, the um, Quiet as Cat pool. Let's talk about He's this. He's staying in the corner. The no, night he ain't staying in the corner. corner no, no. The night. Uh-uh, not tonight. Okay, we're gonna talk about this sexy pool party because we're gonna get sexy Sunday started. I heard about this pool party. Uh, Ooh, you had a pool party going on somewhere. Some uh, some people called it soft porn. What? Yeah. So <laughs> the, <laughs> you so better stop. <laughs> that's, that's right. Let's talk about this. What happened? Um, so my other show, Adult Conversations, we had a uh, adult conversation skip day pool party. So I mean, it wasn't soft porn. It was just ladies taking the top off, just enjoying themselves. Well, that's soft porn to me. No, it's not. They show. That's everyday stuff. I'm about to say they show that on TV. I thought it was something else going on. I was like listening. So you, that's that's why you can't up. believe everything you hear. Yeah, right, right. And right. tennis was up because I was ready to hear something else. I was just taking the top off. They do that every day. What getting on the bus? Ching, ching. And the key thing was everybody was adult. They enjoyed themselves and they was having a good time. Okay, so let me answer this. So you okay with that? Yes. Uh, okay. Are you okay if your woman was there and she took her top off at the pool party? If I'm secure with my woman, if I'm secure with my relationship, I should have no reason not for her to do it if she wanted to do it. Okay. I mean, as long as there's no guys disrespecting her personally, then I have no problem if that's what she want to do. Okay, now, but don't we think, now, don't we think we in the DMV? What guy's not going to be? Um, like they act like they ain't never seen a body part in their life. What Come is on, the DMV deal with that? I, I'm, right. not try, I'm not right. trying to hype my party up, but I would say this. None of the guys disrespected any of the women there. Okay. Yeah, I can understand that. You know what I'm saying? That. So that's, that's why I said. But as in whole, if you, was the, you, you had your selective few, you had your following, right. you had people that's respectful and know what your event is about. So that's kudos. But now. You put that on a pedestal and you say, hey, this radio station, we having this this event going on and, and this is what it is. You, Bridget, we already know what the highest going to be. Yep, so sure do. Yeah. But like I said, guys, act like from here, and I said this from years, years ago, from me coming from here and visiting New York and seeing how the, the young ladies used to dress there, they never had clothes on. And guess what? They were walking down the street and guys was just like they wasn't even there. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But right. here, right. you would have thought that nobody ever knew what a private part of somebody's body was. Right. Right. Because right. they took it so far that it was just so, oh my God, like they never saw it before. Exactly. Baby, you grew exactly. up on this this, this right here. Yep, exactly. That's exactly. True. So cute. I mean, what would you want your woman at a pool party taking her top off, boobies all over the place? No, nah, but I understand that, you know, I mean, some people are free-spirited, you know, and I don't think a person should be judged because they, you know, they take their top off. I mean, to some people free-spirited. I mean, I don't think, you know, some people would associate that with your character because you take your top off that makes you this or you promiscuous, right. this, this, right. and that. No, nah, I mean, some people... I mean, I see people do it all the time. People enjoy themselves. They take their top off. They feel in themselves. You know what I'm saying? I mean... I guess if you got it, flaunt it. You know what I'm saying? So many words, but so. I mean, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't want my woman doing that. I mean, I think if it's my woman, then that should be something just for seen for me. That's right. just how I am. You know what I mean? But right. each his own. Okay. All right. What well, sounds good? Let's talk about <laughs> online dating. 
That was like my main topic I wanted to talk about because we all know, like all of us are on Facebook. Uh huh. Correct. Don't you all feel like Facebook nowadays is like the dating game? It's like a mar. It's like your mar. I mean, I know you can't answer that, so you don't answer. Uh, yes, that. I can. <laughs> My baby's sitting right over there, and I'm going to answer everything because this is the talk show, and him and I, if anybody read my post from the other day, we were friends first, so he know all, we doing all this. That's this, right. This is part of it. Okay. You know? So mm-hmm. is it okay? Is it okay for somebody to be in your inbox, and that is their, I mean, that's the way that they want to approach you. They want to get in your inbox on Facebook. They want to scope out your page. They want to get in there. And they want to ask you out on a date. They want everything. And they, they, they want a date. Is that okay? Probably definitely cool if you, I mean, if you ain't seeing nobody, yeah. I mean, as long as they do it respectful. Respect, yeah. Hey. Okay. What you think? Yeah, I, I, in a respectful way, yeah. But, they but some people, you know, some people like it rough and ruddy. You know, you coming <laughs> up in my inbox, girl, come on here. Or however they going to do it. People like that. But, right. no, I can say, thank you. I'm fortunate. Doing what I do, I have not right. had that. And okay. I'm so glad. I have had some people to come in my inbox and say, I think you're very beautiful. Right. Can we go? You know, thanks. But never, never, ever anything disrespectful. Right. So I, I, for on, that, on the other note, I can't speak on that. Right. But right. experiences of my own. Right. Even though they came in a respectful way, I don't respond. Right. Because I really don't want a conversation. Mm-hmm. Right. So yeah. you right. you let in you you bring your own exactly. demise. It's, exactly. it's up to exactly. you, exactly. and that's that's the thing. It's up to you. It's what you allow. What, what you it, allow. Exactly. Right. What you right. allow to happen is what you're gonna get. Right. So right. if you happy with this picture, this this nasty picture that this Bama wants to send you the first time. Right. But then the second time he come back and be like, "You are so pretty." Let me think. You know what I'm saying? Right. What you gonna do? Right. So it's up to you and how you take that. You a also got the ability to block it. too. I mean, so you don't have to allow speak. anything. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You can block it. You don't want to receive or, or not feed with, into it. You know that what I mean? With the, what I just said lastly, yeah. a lot of females as well as males, that's enjoyment for them. They find that cute. Uh huh. And which is not because if you you're only leading on something that you really don't want. Right. Especially right. right on social media. Right. Exactly. I agree. Yeah. Dwayne, you look like you want to chime in. <laughs> I mean, I wanted to ask her, is it because you in a relationship that you don't want to entertain it, or were you not entertaining it before you was in a relationship? I never did. Okay. You know I what's never, crazy? I read okay. something, going back to what Dwayne said, I, I read something the other day that um, flirtation is a self-esteem builder. That really? people, people allow flirtation. They say most people that have low self-esteem allow flirtation because it deals with the inner part of the individual so my thing is oh, that wow, people allow okay. flirtation because they feel it's like they go through their day people relationship allow people to come in the inbox and flirt with them they, they know it's not going anywhere but you might want to hear somebody tell you beautiful or you can get it yeah. to this and that i mean yeah, those, even right. even as men as people sometimes i mean i may not true. i may not want it but the fact that she says i can have it makes me feel better i mean that's just how a man thinks you right. know what i'm saying you, right. you may wake up in your inbox and the girl half naked she's showing you her boobies whatever like this you don't want it but it's like damn it does something to your um, whatever is it the word that you call it, but it's like it's like I don't know what it is, but when you feel like you know I feel good because I know but I can have it, you know what I'm saying? Builder. Your ego builder, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, yeah, your right, ego, right. and we get the ego, or when 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 you know it's that's like when people when we in a, we in living a generation now when you post something and you get likes that make you feel good versus if you post something you don't get likes people post to get likes and they may yeah. say i don't post to get right. like no you do post to get like that's you true. want people that to say that picture look good you going back on your phone over and over again checking to see who like it who don't like it because why it's something in you that that needs that type of attention but that's like true. we're going back to say but if you're in a relationship i'm pretty sure you're getting that from your relationship but exactly. people are using social media as a way to uh to to draw attention to themselves because they maybe they're not getting it from everywhere and some people getting it they just want more of it that's right. true you right. know what i'm saying some people getting it, they just want because more you of can it. be anybody you can be you anybody be you want to be. that is true i can take some money and put it up to my ears i can go pose in front of a car i can yeah. take some bottles that's not mine and post a picture and that'll draw me the attention i want that's you can true. be anybody you can be anybody true. on social that's media true. That's but true. in real life when you see it's like okay well, hit me up. I'm on ChristianMingle.com. <laughs> I've been on there for a while. I keep checking my dag on file, and I'm going to tell you something. I don't know if I'm a little too wild for the congregation, but I ain't got no hits yet. 
<laughs> my baby on there too. My baby on um, what you on, boy? Look, okay. <laughs> he, he ain't know enough for right now. That's a good answer right, right there. That's he a good answer. Right. <laughs> Stay off of it. That's a good look. <laughs> So how, I mean, my thing of it is, is how, I mean, you know, are you guys against online dating? I mean, you know, because not only, you know, we're not even going to talk about Facebook at this time. I mean, I, I don't consider Facebook really being at, catered to the online dating, right. but that's just what people do with it. But you have like other online dating sites. Mm -hmm. You know, some people are like totally against online dating. Blackpeoplemeet.com. That's, um, what, that's what it is, baby. <laughs> yep, blackpeoplemeet.com. <laughs> came in the house my baby told me yeah i'm just sitting here chilling. I'm, 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 it's I time for me it. to get my social circle up baby i'm on black people meet i said all right all right then let's have some I fun okay it. i don't right. believe it back but to yeah. the regularly but scheduled you, you program you do you have like black people mm -hmm. you got christian mingo you got tagged Tinder, all them. Oh, Tinder? Yeah. Tinder? I mean, it's how safe is online dating? Like, are you guys, like, totally against it? Do you think it's okay? Because, like you said, the people that, the profiles that you see may not always be the person that you That's the biggest up. problem, the catfish. Yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah. Are you talking exactly. to the person that's in the profile? I think that's the biggest part of the online dating, for one. Are you talking to the person in the profile, and is the information that's given, is it credible? Right. I think those right. are the two biggest things of online dating. Other than that... That's how we communicate right now through social media. This right. is the, we're exactly. in the social media area right now. I mean, a lot of people don't want to accept it, but it is we're in a position is. right now that a lot of stuff done through social media. Exactly. Right now, people are like, I don't do Facebook, and that's Duh. why you don't know what's going on. Right. Exactly. You know what I'm that's saying? true. That's yeah. true. For real. I that's mean, true. sometimes you go to Facebook before you go to the news, and you right. find out stuff from Facebook. Before I go to the news, be honest, we're in a living society. Before I go to the news, I go to Facebook, because Facebook, the news is on Facebook. Right. Everything is on Facebook. Right, right, right. So, Dwayne, have you ever, like, have you ever did any online dating and got catfished? Um, i never done online dating, like, the actual dating sites. But, uh -huh. I mean, like, I've been out with people on Black Planet, Tag, uh, Facebook, Oh, my gosh, like I that. forgot so, all about Black, Black Planet. Planet. I could think of. That's why I was quiet over here. I've been trying to think my of that space thing and all that. Long, <laughs> I've been trying to think of the name of that thing for the longest while we were sitting here. <laughs> well, I mean, I would, I would, I'm not totally against it. Um, I would say it's more of a risk factor for women than it is for guys. Right. Yeah, I believe so. Um, yeah, but agree, yeah. on the guy's point of view, I mean, you can get set up for a situation where you don't really want to be. Right, you know right, right. So, right. I mean, it's dangerous both ways, but, I mean, if you do it the right way and they say meet out in public in the public place. And, exactly. It's straight, yeah. Exactly. Circle the block ten times before you go. Oh, to no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that okay. is true. Right. That's true. Because even on Facebook true. nowadays, I notice on my page, like, every day you'll have a made-up page requesting you as a friend. Somebody that don't have a friend with you, it could be a beautiful woman, mm -hmm. and then right up under the picture, it's a website you go to, see my new pics or something like that. Right, I mean, it's like right. a ton of them. I mean, like 30, 40 a day. Right, You get right. them, and it's like, what's this? And, and, and to be honest, what I understand, I mean, a lot of it's sex soliciting. I mean, um, mm -hmm. prostitution is not done in the corner anymore. Yeah. Prostitution is done online. Social very media. very few women are walking the beat anymore. Now it's just, it's just online dating, you know what exactly. I'm saying? Most of the Instagram models are... Um, what do they call them? Call girls, or basically, um, what's well, that word for? Why do you know all this? I mean, it's just, I'm in technology. I know. He read it off of Facebook. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thanks, Dwayne. I appreciate it. <laughs> you okay. know when, so you the know, guys down there gonna stick together. You right? know we when should. you buy something now on Instagram, it'll pop up on the every now and then when you're buying something. <laughs> so when the women come popping up, ladies, ladies, you better listen to what I'm telling you now. When you looking at them Instagram pages and it pop up, anything you done bought <laughs> off of that Instagram going to pop up in about three days or so after you get your product. So if you then went and linked up with these girls on Black Planet and all them <laughs> other ones, another one going to pop up come next week and say, hi, I'm sure. Right. Right. I'm on the same bottom as Rose. <laughs> want to play? Wait. Thank you. Okay, do what you want. All right, what we going to do now? Me, personally, no. You do what you want to do. Right, right. I just say be careful. You have to do things in a way that you can look at. You have to look out for yourself first. Absolutely. Right. I mean, right. just dating. Come on, man. You, you you just do that. If that's what you're going to do, do it. But be respectful. Be responsible with your own self to jump out there, to go right. online. Because right. you know for yourself what you can do to alter everything you want somebody else to see. So don't think somebody else is not going to do that to you. Exactly. exactly. So that's yeah. what you have exactly. to be mindful of. You're not going to always get what you're seeking to get. 
So you just have That's to be right. mindful. I'm not saying I'm against it because there have been instances and relationships, marriages that has happened through social, through a lot of the social media sites. Right. But right. you just have to be that one to be mindful as to what you want and what you have to do to make that happen. Right. Right. Mm. Right. Don't be fooled. If you got to do same way you got on that social site is the same way you need to go on. What is this do about that uh -huh. com? Uh huh. It's called this, um, whatever it is. I don't know because I ain't one, looking. One but. of them is called ksearch. Dot government oh, dot Maryland. Okay. Oh, Maryland, D.C., Virginia, <laughs> yes. Southeast D.C., Ben and Rose, right. Shrimp Boat, all that <laughs> gonna pop up. Whatever you did, Google him. That's right. Nowadays, you it wasn't. That's right. Yeah, you Google the right. Google. You're a Google boy at this point. That's right. Exactly. Google him. I'm exactly. telling you. Have you had anybody Google you, Dwayne? Yeah. Uh, really? I mean, it's nothing gonna really come back, but I have people right. Google me. I say, oh, yeah, I have. Yeah. Way, blah, 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 blah. I'm like. I've got all about those pages. How, I mean, have they Googled you because they were interested in dating you, or they was just Googling you to be mar to be funny? My I mean, yeah, about the same. I didn't. I didn't been to places like I go, like I go, like downtown, watch the fights and stuff like Wayne. And I go places. I pay with my credit card. Uh huh. And I go back to the same bar and the girl. Man, I didn't know you was a pastor. Like, how did I know you was a pastor? She's like, we have a way of knowing. Know what you did? You ran my. You ran my name off of my credit card. Because oh, my wow. name is on my See, credit card. See, I told card. you you didn't so bought something. <laughs> nah, I'm telling you, nah, I'm, that had this happen to me like four or five times in my life. You I'm trying to tell you. Well, nah, it's not about buying it. nothing. I could go to Buffalo Wild Wings right now and show my credit card, and my waiter can remember my name off my credit card and punch it right in on my Facebook, and me being a pastor, and everything is going to come up. Right. And when right. I come up, they'll say, oh, I didn't know you was a pastor. Well, I didn't know you was going to look me up. Right. Because like, I didn't I, tell I mean, you that. I want to say like eight times out of ten, mostly everybody's on Facebook. So exactly. So if you really find somebody interesting, you'll... You look Get them up. Their name and look exactly. Out. That's what people That's do. Right That's so. true. You be a fool not to nowadays. You can just Google, like she's like Stacy said, you Googleable. Somebody can Google you and they can find out about you. It's really hard to, if you on social media, it's really kind of hard to play games out here because you can be looked up and everything can come up about you. Anything that you tagged on, right. gonna come up. Right, That's how right, people get right. found out. You know what I mean? That's why people out here using fake names and all the type of stuff like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I pay my credit card. I pay somebody run your credit card right away. They can go right in their phone and pull your name up. And find out all your social media sites. It's just that easy. So you can't be out here talking about your name Ray Ray. Right. You that's know what I'm saying? Of. For so it's long. That's you know? just one of them. Right. <laughs> that's one of them. Exactly. Well, who's, let me, let me, I want to talk about this. Who's for open relationships? Well, I guess you might as well say, bomb <laughs> here, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Now, no, because I asked this, and, and the reason why I asked is because you have so many people that will come at you, and they want to be on, in one-on-one -on -one relationships, so they tell you, but then yet and still, they're dating you, and they're dating the next one, and they're dating the next one, and the next one, so why don't they just say, I want to be with you, but I also want to be with her, and I want to be with this one, so let's just have an open relationship. Is it because they don't want the woman to have somebody else, too? I think men do that. It's, lop, it's lopsided, though, for men. I mean, I think, you know, a lot of men I see do it. You know, we've been there before, whereas, though, it's, it's called locking in. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like at the draft. You you lock in. You got your start, you know, your starter. You know what I'm saying? But you're not 100% sure about it. So you still, you're open to another possibility. If somebody's in an open relationship, what I believe is that what they have is not fully meeting all the requirements. So you're still open for the other possibility or maybe the percentage of that which that relationship is not performing, what okay, people so call the 80-20 rule. Why, then why would you lock, some, lock one person down if she's not ex actually what you are looking for? Like because if people you play lock, better she has with an ace in the hole. That you like. It's like cards. People play better with an ace in the hole. It's, it's, it's just a mental thing. You want that kitty. Yeah. You, know, you, need to you need to fall back. If you go out and you get what? turned down, you need something you can go back home to. Mm. That's part of the open relationship. My definition of open relationship is. <laughs> I'm looking at you like you ain't got nothing I mean, to say about this. Girl, you know what? You know it is. What it is. You know I can't do no changing. I don't know, thing. but I guess open relationship <laughs> means different things to different yeah, people. That's yeah, that's what yeah. I was yeah. gonna say. See, like for instance, if I want to go out, let's say for instance, if me and Stacy go out. Okay. We cool. We, ain't going we, we cool. We, we hanging out. Stuff like that. I don't want. Long I don't want people to think that. First, Stacy. Stacy. Corey gonna be saying, "What you doing out with him?" No, I don't want people to think Corey and Stacy in an open relationship because she out hanging with me. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. So, right. so, right. so right. that's that's why I say I think it depends on the people. Um, open relationship. Me personally, I think if sex is considered in that, that makes it an open relationship. 
But if you just go out and hang out, you got female friends that you can go out hang out without your partner. I mean, I don't see anything. Okay, wrong but there. we know that's not the case. In a perfect world, that would be fine. Okay? Right. I'm not right. sexing her, but I'm we just hanging out. We know that's not the case. That we talk my about case. Okay, we that's the flip side. See, I was gonna go on the flip side too. But right now, what we're speaking on, not us, we're speaking on them. Right. So right. you have a lot of viewers that's watching that wanna know, inquiring minds wanna know. So they wanna know. On the opposite end, we're not talking about us because I'm not getting ready to talk about me. All right, so pretty much, so speaking for them, like Pastor said, you know, it, it's it's pretty much locking that person in. I mean, you you can right. have that that one, but she may not like to go bowling. You might like bowling, so Cheryl might like bowling. You know what I'm saying? So that doesn't take away that she's not that complete woman for you per se, but you just have that selfish moment where you feel as though you want others to. Yeah, I mean, like time. Wayne say too, a lot of people's posts say it's complicated you know you see somebody post this in a relationship they say it's complicated yeah, basically what does that mean it complicated mean that um, i am and i'm am not seeing somebody so i'm in that so it's, it's called it's a betwixt it's, oh, it's, a, it's a tweener looking. no oh. listen you still with your they husband and you still with your baby daddy last night, no, yeah. they was good last night right. but to that argument <laughs> yes. and the day is complicated because right. we really ain't get to the bottom of what right. we really was arguing exactly about. exactly right. like now, so my yet. post today it is complicated <laughs> baby i'm trying to work it out but it's complicated Right. I think everybody in, in, in a case is in is in the in between a relationship in a way. I mean, you have somebody that y'all not meet and be exclusively together as a title, but y'all still calling each other. But y'all haven't worked out the kinks. It's miscommunications there, and it, it could be you guys go back and forth with sex, but then it may be misunderstandings in life that y'all don't get together with. So the relationship is still open because you just guys haven't haven't figured it out. You know, I want to say they say yeah. if you're not married, you're single anyway, right? Yeah. I well, that's what they say. That's what they say. They say a whole lot of stuff. That's they law. say Trump is the president and a whole lot of stuff come with that. <laughs> but hell, well, I mean, come on now, let's be realistic. This is 2017. He's that's the apprentice. Look, now, <laughs> this is my opinion on the, on the open relationship. I'm not for it. I'm, I'm so not for it. Exactly. My thing is, if you open up that door to someone, both of y'all, and you love each other, and this is what, your relationship is based on, you have, if you go about it in, I would say, it's no correct way to go about it, but whatever f works for you and that other person, I think the communication of it all is what it's about. Right. You can right. say open relationship because guess what? Just like Dwayne said, you have a lot of subtitles up underneath that open relationship. Right, right. So right. come on. Without being let's not let's stop being petty. Let's stop trying to put A, B, and C up underneath here. You know exactly what we're talking about. Exactly. Open relationship meaning you and I are in a relationship, but we want to go date and sex up. Larry, Mo, Sue, Curlin, and everybody else. Right. So that's is what that's what we agree that we're gonna do. Hey, if that's what you're gonna do, it's gonna work. Even you gonna the thing of it is, is how you go about it. It's, right. it's, it's stipulations. Right. Now, right. if you have known your mate and you you became where you are now from being friends, I'm, that's the first thing you you at least need to know. Who you dealing with? Right. Instead right. of just trying to jump into because he took me out to these nice expensive places for dinner a couple of nights, and we had a couple of swirls down L'Oreal Plaza <laughs> and different things, you know, of the such. We did that, and now that's my boo. But you then you, but saying? then you see your boo out with somebody else. Yeah, and you your see boo your was boo. Like, well, I never said we was in a relationship. I mean, we just hey, went. Well, I mean, what? He ain't lying. And I am, you know what I'm saying? He ain't said no lie about it. But we ain't never said it, but. Look, they looking like, well, I mean. No, nah, it's making sense. Keep talking. Because <laughs> it's common sense. Right. It's common yeah. sense. Yes. It's going yes. to make sense. Yes. Because, like you said, open relationship. Open. What does open mean? Come right. On so, there. my thing of it is, fellas. Mm -hmm. So, how do you feel if your woman comes to you and you're really feeling her, you digging her, but she tells you, yeah, I like you, you're cool and everything, but I still want, I want to see you and I want to see other men too. How would y'all feel about that? I mean, that lets me know that I'm not enough right then and there. So Thank then, you. Uh, see? Yeah. So, why is it okay for I, you to, to... To be honest, I mean, and this this may sound wrong and I'll probably be corrected on this. Is that standard? I think the pimp created the open relationship. 
it's, it's a it's a pimp mindset to me. My thing is this. To, it's, it's a, but I'm gonna tell you why because it only works for it only works for real. For it's a one sided it's a one sided agreement. It's the ability to be able to lock in but still shop. And uh, it's only the person that can be able to do that is the person that has the strong hand. And normally time, it's the male that has the strong hand to be able to do that. It was created that way because in, in, the, in the caveman world, the way it was that if the man was to be able to be the, be the provider and take care of everything, he could do whatever he want. And I'm going to tell you what, even, even, even in some cultures and religions, it's taught that way. Listen, what, what about the shows they have right here in the, in the, with all the monogamy? I think it's monogamy. Relationship. I mean, where they have where the man has um, what is it called? The man has like three or four wives. The shows that's out right now. Yeah. Polygamy. Polygamy. Yeah. Right, wrong word. Right. Wrong word. I gotta get in my dictionary a little bit. But long story short is that the man is able to have all these different wives because he's able to provide for all of them. Now, and, and even the religion aspect, they say, well, um, certain religions believe that the man can have as many wives because they believe that as long as, as long as I can provide for all those wives, I can have them all. And that's the way in a, in, 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 a, in his heart, the way a man feels that way is that I can have my woman and take care of my woman and still be able to do what I want to do. And not in 2017. <laughs> it ain't happened like that since when you said that happened. Caveman days. Yep. I'm not it's saying it's right, though, Stacey. I'm saying it it's the mindset. It's the mindset of it. They better come on up out there, hold there, and then, uh, <laughs> hurry it. Tell them people come on through here. Because, nah. No, it's not happening. Well, let, you know what? I agree. I want, let's take about a two-minute break. When we come back, <laughs> we don't cut that short because I caveman <laughs> threw me for a loop. Baby, we that thing got me thinking about the bets and stuff. We think we're going over the National Stadium. <laughs> let's take about, about a minute break, actually. And when we come back, we're going to talk about gay and lesbian relationships. So you guys stay oh, tuned. Lord, don't go anywhere. We'll be right I'm back. <laughs> All right, hey you guys, welcome back. We still sitting over here over at Sexy Sundays here at <laughs> Style Magazine Live Radio, and we gonna get into something real crazy right now. I want to talk about lesbian and gay relationships. So, fellas, would you guys date a lesbian? I mean, I think it, I mean, I think it's kind of every man's dream to want to date a lesbian because she's gonna bring another girl. I mean, I think that's what that's the way a man thinks. Okay, and you okay with it, Dwayne? Which type of lesbian? A lesbian. Lesbian, she, she's I mean, there's into, different... Okay, look, let me... Okay, you're right. Let's put it this way. Bisexual. Oh, yeah. I would. <laughs> I said he would. No hesitation. No hesitation. Q, you okay with a bisexual woman? I mean, as my wife, probably not. Oh, you would be okay as your wife? Would you date a gay man? A bisexual man? If you weren't in a relationship? <laughs> he just cocked his pistol. <laughs> <laughs> you still here with us? I'm right here and I ain't even buzzed, baby. That's hey, look, that's, hey, look, that's, that's the quietest uh, we heard, Stacey, y'all. Exactly. Because, hey, I ain't got nothing to talk about on that 
that you only gonna defend with you. <laughs> Baby, I ain't got nothing to defend over this end. Okay. All right. Well, this is what I want to know. But though, you said you'll date a bisexual woman. Right. Okay. So it's okay for your woman to bring another woman into your bedroom and you're fine with that because you know she's bisexual. If it's openly communicated, yes. Okay. But what if she wants to bring another man? Then of course it's not going to be right. not going to happen. That's what I'm yeah. trying to tell you. It's, it's caveman open. mindset. The cavemen don't think like happen. that. Cavemen, I'm trying to say, cavemen don't think no, like no, that. No, 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 because if you're okay with another woman. Because it's a double standard. It's, it's just that way. It's not, I'm listen, when I speak from that, I'm speaking from the perspective of an opinionated man. That's not, it's not right. I'm right. just trying to tell you that's the way that the man thinks. It's, of the opinionated man, if you was to do a, 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 a ratio and a, and a statistic, most men are going to tell you that that is not acceptable. Another woman is, but not another man. Right. There's only one stick in my bedroom. Exactly. Okay, but what if you're not participating mm -mm. in the action of your woman with another man, but you're just watching her with another man? Right, that's her. That's that's what she wants. That's man. what she's she right. didn't gave so you what she wants. Exactly. If she didn't gave you exactly. this. Uh -huh. Exactly. But that's man, what swingers are for. You have swingers that do stuff like something that. Something else. Right. Okay, we're not she's talking about in the that. bedroom. We're not so. talking about them. Mm -hmm. Swingers, what they do. We're talking about you. I'm, I'm gonna say and this. And your mate. She can go to his house. I don't have to be there. So. Okay, now, you all can be right here in your bed if it's another woman, but if it's another man, they got to go over his house and you not going. Correct. So you telling her you can go ahead on and sex this dude up, but you ain't going to do it in here, but we can bring this lady in here and we can all have us a good time. If we had a conversation that... That's what you're saying. We're both yes or no oh, answer. Listen, listen. No, we ain't, no uh, Yes, yes, no I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question, yes. That's what okay, I'm saying. Okay, all right, there you go. Now, how fair do you think that is? It's very at this fair. day and time. That's it's 2017. Fair, that's Why not? Fair. She's still, it's 2017. Hold on. If she wanted to have sex with someone else, she's still having sex with someone else. I'm just not there. Right, right. Understood. But guess what? Turn the tables. This is your whole idea to want this other woman in your bedroom. Okay. With your wife there. This is what and you she want. Okay. She's she fulfilling your fulfill right. your what you want, your right. grant, your wish as a couple that you think you can all meet at the middle. But now you, but you can't uphold that part when she getting. Uh -huh. right, right. Let me say this. Let yeah. me say this. I'm listening. First of all, a woman's all not going to allow listening. another woman in her bedroom unless she's already feeling that way about a woman. Another woman, no. right? No, that's Trust not me. true because Trust that's me. not true because she no. could be trying to just fulfill your needs. Ain't that much fulfilling? Ain't that much fulfilling? <laughs> nah, nah. I seen it done. I don't want. I mean, women. I women do say it doesn't happen. I mean, women do say. I mean, you you following? You running a conversation? Well, women have said um, that they will bring another woman to the bedroom to please their man. Right, and, because and, that's all he talk right. about. That's all he talk about. And women, a woman, I mean, many couples that. have done that before. It's not, a, it's not, un, you know, what I'm saying unvisited territory. Many, many couples have tried that, and many couples will tell you it created other problems in their relationship too. Yeah. But outside of that too, as a man, you know, me, I don't want to see another man naked. That's just me. That's just not for me. I'm not sure what other men do, so I don't want to be in a bedroom with another man and a woman. And no, I'm not. I'm not into that. But there's other men that's in that. But I, I don't want to be in there with another man in the bedroom. You know what I'm saying? Naked. I mean, that's just not me. That's just like the show. That's um, standard. Um, the show, babe. What's the name of the show? They come on with the um, the young lady and 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 they. She had her boyfriend where they had the neighbor upstairs. That was the, the series. We look at this series. Not, it's not shameless. It's um with the lady, Issa. Insecure. Insecure. Oh, insecure. Okay. insecure. That's okay. it. Couldn't okay. think okay. of it. You watch Insecure? I watch it. Okay, now, that, look at that. Mm -hmm. that you see, did, you, did you see that episode? I didn't see that one. Okay, that was the episode. Where their, their sex life, their bedroom, whatever, it wasn't popping for them. She wanted to do something to make it pop. Mm. They went over their friend house to open the cup stairs up, and they went in there. They had just met up with the the waiter in the in the restaurant the night before. They didn't have young young lady up in the bed with them. They came out. She leaving. So now that's excitement for her, because she's saying that they got it popping in the bedroom. This is probably what I need. So she go to her girlfriend and tell her girlfriend, "Look, can you and your man come in with me and my man?" And it sounded crazy, but guess what? That's what they did. He didn't want to do it. 
But it wasn't like him and the man. No, it wasn't like that. Right, right, right. Stacey, they don't look like they buying that. I, they ain't got to buy it, <laughs> but I'm telling you, you ain't got to buy it, but guess what? It's a whole lot of them out here that, that's paying double for it. Baby, they buying it. No, I mean, I, I agree that there's, there's, there's people out here who are able, and then let me just say this, and it, it, this is real talk, right? Some people are able to be able to differentiate um, to take feelings outside of sex, you know what I'm saying, Stacey? And take feelings outside of sex and just say, this is just sex, you know what I'm saying? And this is this is love. So my mm -hmm. thing is that when you fall into the place of, uh, I think if you love and care to somebody, I don't know if you want to share that. Thank now, you. I don't know what type Probably. of, I don't know what type of feelings that you have to have for a man. I don't know how to open that's myself that. up to allow myself to be able to share a woman that I love. So I don't know what that's like. Maybe that's something yeah. I haven't tapped into yet. Yeah. Maybe that's a, a level of maturity. But right. how is it that you have sex with no emotions and allow that to happen when you love somebody? Yeah. Right. Now, now, men, we can that do that. True. We're Very able true. to be able to Very sleep true. with you and feel nothing from it and walk away from it because we don't love you. Right. Or you can sleep with somebody and walk away from it because you don't love them. But when you love that person, how in your mind do you work that out? I, I'm not there yet. That's, I haven't tapped into that side of my mind yet to it's allow somebody else to, to do that. I don't know how to do it. I mean, right. Right. it seems like, well, See. unless you just don't value the sex. You know what I'm saying, Dwayne? If, if you don't value, say, oh, it's just sex. Dwayne don't look and, like no, he, he just no, like I'm he agree still with ain't him because, it. I'm no, I agree with him because honestly, as a man, you... We don't have that mentality to actually see somebody on top of somebody. We understand On top of my woman, can, yeah. You know? we and like you that. said, you know, if you love that person, you're not going to... It takes all types of levels of... That's what I'm saying. I don't know how to get there. Right, but when right. you going to break down and realize it takes all type of levels for you to feel the way that you want to feel if you want to have another woman? How much right. love do you have when I said, woman? Because when I said, mind you, know, when I said bring another woman in the bedroom, both of y'all were for that. Because it's selfish. I just it's said everybody talk. got to selfish It's selfish. Move. It's a selfish move. I'm, I'm, okay, it's a selfish it's move selfish. and a selfish moment, but that's, I mean, come on now. That's that. Selfish means it's not right. Quick, that's that real quick reaction to so, something so, that so, you've been wanting. So let me ask you this question. Did. Would you, you want your talk. man in the bedroom with another man? With another man, not another man, not another woman, right. not another set of sheets. No, no, don't just don't 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 scenario. Damn don't bed. Don't with the scenario. <laughs> Would you want your man to be in the bedroom with another man? I, I wouldn't. Exactly. No, I know no. I will. But, no. but I'm not coming to the so bedroom with another woman So that's the same mentality that we either. have with being let another me say, woman. Let me, wait, let me say this. Listen, listen. I read something the other day either. that said, most men will take a woman back who was in a bisexual relationship, but a woman will find it hard to take another man back that was in a gay relationship with another man. That is facts. You can look it up for yourself on the internet true. right that's, now. That, that, that is, is facts. That's so that's the double standard true. right there. No, it's not. It is a double standard. It is a double standard. you say it's a double standard. How is it? It's facts though, Stacey. Listen, okay. because nowadays it's out in the open more than it would have been back then. So would you date you a man that was previously gay? No, I wouldn't. I be okay, it. and I a lot of other women wouldn't either. Yeah, if you don't know any, yeah. if you don't know. I'm talking about based on facts of what you know. A man would date a woman that was just in a relationship with another woman. A woman. Um, that's but, but a woman, woman because you don't look at him as, a listen, if you know that he's being, being poked in and poked on, you don't consider him as a man anymore. Correct. But, uh, but just, yeah, if a woman has been with another, nah, that's not how they look at it. I'm trying to tell you. I understand what you're You know what I'm saying? Women don't look at it like that. He's right, Stacey. I would probably, I don't care what you say. Yeah, you still, still a man, man because you you have a man you have you have you yes, have you have man genitals and stuff. But I'm talking about being a man doesn't that mean that you have a male body part. It means that you stand for something as a man is so, the way women look at it. Okay, so a woman that's a gay woman, she's not a woman no more because she didn't have sex with another woman. No, nah, she's still a woman. Okay, but I'm trying so to say that's a man, not a man. It's a double standard. It's that's what I'm trying to tell you. Hell. He said that earlier. I said that earlier. That earlier. That's, that's what I'm saying. We're saying the same standard. thing. Standard. Standard. All our double standards. Yeah. So guess what? Those that live those lives are the ones that have to deal with their own karma, drama, whatever you want to say with it. But let me say this. Let me. I'm gonna give you this real quick, wild. Stacey. If I'm dating a woman who is coming out of a bisexual relationship, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to always think in that relationship, this is just me, right, Wayne, mm -hmm. that she will go back to another woman because what made her leave a man? Now, it could be a mental thing. People, people say, the people that's gay say they don't just cheat because it's a sexual thing. They cheated for a mental thing. This is what gay people tell me. It's not just because they cheated for someone because the woman knew how to handle the woman's body because she's a woman, but they treated for a mental thing. So my thing is, if I date a woman that was, was dating women, uh -huh. I'm always going to know or feel that it's something that I can't do as a woman. I can't compete with another woman. I can compete with that's another true. man. Right. That's I, mean, I mean, listen, if his wood is bigger than mine, I just learn how to do different things. 
but I can't compete with another woman. That is true. You can't. No, you cannot. And if I like a man, you can't compete with another man. Mm -hmm. You ain't gonna know sports and stuff like you know what I'm saying. You ain't gonna change well, up. Well, you, you got a whole lot of them know sports, but like, we was talking. No, I'm just using that. That was a funny right there. That's all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ooh, what's up? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Well, that concludes. <laughs> Sex, love, and relationships. Yeah. It seems to me. Again? Oh, I, that's what I was just about to say. It seems to me that part we three. need a part, part three. three. Right. Part three, man. man. <laughs> Dealing with the dating game seems like there is never an ending to it. There's always going to be a twist somewhere, <laughs> whether it's from a male's perspective or from a woman's perspective. But one day we will all get on the same planet. <laughs> but how about we do this once a month? Because we got so much yes. going on every day. Every, once I a month, we'll have something to, to tell y'all. I think that so you and Dwayne, y'all can bring it to you y'all can bring it to my show one I day. Think, man. Solutions. Yes. Yes. Questions. Yes. Curiosities. Yes. Whatever it is. Yes. I, I'm quite sure you'll figure it out. We'll <laughs> yes. help you in we'll some way. We'll get it. We will get it. Oh, Next no month, we're gonna have another sex, love, and relationships part three coming up so you guys stay tuned for That's that day up, but man. until right. then we are going to close another show over here at you sell magazine live radio sexy sundays here at listen vision i want to thank you guys for tuning in tonight make sure you tune in next sunday as i will have mr mitch cradle on and we will be discussing all of his new products um mm, products all of his new productions he has coming up and see what he got in the bag and under his hat and all of that stuff. He got some great stuff in the works, so make sure you guys tune in next Sunday. But until then, have a wonderful, amazing week. Pray for all of those down south that's going through the hurricane. Absolutely. Send them your prayers, any help and support that you can give those guys down there because they're really going through it right now. And remember that we love you all, and we'll see you again next Sunday. Have an amazing week. See you guys later. Peace. Ha, ha, ha.